What's up everybody, FSC Truck. We're over here at DePetro in Girard, Ohio, basically Youngstown. Pulled in here last night. Figured I'd get my full rest. Got up this morning. We got our tractor sitting here waiting to get going. We are ready to get going too, so I got here last night, ate uh, my uh, Fuel Island pork chops and salad. It was pretty decent actually. I don't really like truck stop food that much, but it is what it is. You gotta eat something, right? I'll park back over here. Look at that tractor just waiting to ride. Yeah, that needs a ride to Wisconsin. Let's go. In the previous video, we went ahead and loaded this. This is supposed to pick up Baltimore, but because the bridge got brought down, they couldn't unload these in Baltimore. So what they did was they brought them to Kearney, New Jersey. So we got it loaded, strapped down in Kearney, just underneath the uh, just underneath the one and nine Skyway up there. You know where the truck route gets you around because the trucks aren't allowed on that big bridge. But yeah, there you go. There's our big 340. Only lot about is the axles. But that's what we got. Well, we got to get Orwell ready to go. Got the green APU running, doing the heat and air conditioning thing. That's you've been air conditioning all night. Just a little tickle of humidity out of it, and that's it. The sun's come up, so now it's getting a little hot inside the truck, only because, you know, simply you don't leave your dogs or your kids in your car with the windows rolled up. Although it's legal for truck drivers. Isn't that funny? By the way, let's get Orwell fired up, get the green APU shut down, and get ready to get going, because I'm hungry. And I'd rather go to McDonald's, which is a few exits down. So we're going to go ahead over there to McDonald's, get some food, get a sausage egg and muffin sandwich, and that'll be my breakfast. I already got my orange juice here this morning, so. All right, let's get them fired up and get out of here. boys and girls 400 horsepower caterpillar power comes to life got the strobes going headlights burning we're ready to ride except for me i need my breakfast all right let's let them warm up a little i keep saying that warm up it's already warm green apu already has the engine warm it's ready to go let it air up got to build up a little air from overnight all right now let's get going i'm still hungry i need to fuel up food up breakfast up whatever up I gotta get it going. Let's roll. Alrighty, boys and girls, let's go. I'm gonna put that cow guard up there, driver. That's not too bright. I might not be able to. I'd have broken it. I see that international. I took a picture of him yesterday. It's right in front of me. Look at that. It's like a tank. Like a like that elevator gas tank there. breakfast you guys like out on the road leave a comment being at breakfast where is good breakfast on the road you can get a semi truck in a lot of guys comment about that with me no I don't cook in my truck I don't live in my truck I absolutely refuse to live in my truck it's just food options should be available for humans that make a living in the trucking industry We are human, I think we deserve better treatment. With that being said, where is the best breakfast spot on the road? God, the sky, the 
DLD creep drives me nuts. Just three mile an hour creeping along a truck stop crap. God! I mean, not in, I'm not in a hurry, but damn. I, mean, I, I, I understand why guys do it. I truly do. I get it. If you feel you don't have a choice in the matter, then that's fine. But damn. So stupid. There you go, how about that? You know who loves the you know who loves them international cab overs, don't you? Uh oh, here's the comments. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Haters, are you ready? Guess who loves those international cab overs? You'll never guess. Who loves those international cab, who loves those international, who loves those international cab overs, boys and girls? Okay, we gotta stop for this. Haters, get ready. Who loves your international cab overs? Dun, dun, dun! Me! And Tim Gentry. Ha! Ah, uh, so I mentioned his name, the haters get so upset. I had to do it. <laughs> Sunshine since I don't know when. Haters keep commenting. They cannot stand my friends. <laughs> Why am I in a good mood today? In reality, why should I be in a bad mood? It's a beautiful morning. I need to know I need to learn the words to the rest of the song. It's kind of like, kind of like a scene from Bad Boys, where they're doing like, uh, oh, they're doing a remake of that, but not remake. They're doing a part three now. Looks like it kicks ass. I saw it in the trailer in the theaters. But it's kind of like a scene from Bad Boys. They'll say where they're trying to do uh, Bad Boys, Bad Boys, what you gonna do? And uh, Martin Lawrence character, he don't know the words. <laughs> I don't know. So 
so I guess I'll call the office and have them fax me just that one paper. And then we'll see. Everybody else will take it on the phone. If not, then, uh, you know, that's something they can't take a joke, right? Hold on, road ahead. It's not like the permit ain't paid for, I just don't have a printer in the truck and I'm getting tired of paying two bucks a page for a stack that can be sent to me. So, we'll deal with that accordingly.
This is a totally different video today. And sadly, for some of you, it's not a trucking video. It's an off-roading video. We got the Razor behind us. We got it back from Tennessee, and we're getting ready to take it for a ride. Now, what some of you may or may not know is Chris, he has a Razor, and uh, he never really took it out. So, there we are. We got his Razor out, too. We're up here in Iron River, Michigan. Of course, we show up the day of a parade for, I don't know, Iron River Day Parade or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go off-road. Now, we don't exactly know where we're going up here. So Chris's brother-in-law is going to show us around. Of course, he's got the General, what is that, General 1000? Yep. XP uh, 1000? Yeah, Ranger 1000 XP. Ranger 1000 XP. All right, I don't know my Razors that well, but either way, he's going to show us around in this unit. So we plan on getting some tear assing done. He knows where the big mud holes are. We already did some a little bit today, but it's very dusty. It's warm. It's about 85, 84 degrees for a high temp today. So anyway, got all four GoPros. We're going to get a good video for you guys. Remember, we work hard. So we play harder. All right, let's get at it. Getting the window clean for us, baby. Need me to reach for you? Yeah, you might need to get some All right, let me. Here, I'll give you this. Yeah, this stuff works pretty good for, yeah, we should have, we could, I should have said something first. Take the wa water. Yeah. Wipe it down first. We're not grinding the sand into the plexi. As long as I can see the edge of the trail over here, I'll just stay in it. What I need to do on mine is I've got a regular car kind of seat belt. Alrighty. Chuck this out, we're good to go. You need these, you good? Oh, I will. I think I'm good. I will need it one more. I'll just
shields in hand. Oh, permit in hand. Right there. Marty, can I help you? Yes, how you doing? I'm entering the toll road with a what with a permit load. Alright, can you hold on for one second? Sure. Okay. Um, do you have your permit number? Yes, I do. 
Permit number is 259879. Okay, um, is it because you're wide or you're... It's just wide. Okay, yeah, go to lane one there. Uh-huh. That's our one lane. Right. And, and you're good to go. Okay, don't need to stop for none else? All right. No, yeah, there's nobody at that, at that uh, area, so... Okay. Do you have easy path? No. All right, what, which way are you heading for? West. Okay, or... West and Indiana. Yeah, yeah, when you come to 211, you need to, where it says ticket, you need to get off at where it says ticket. Right. To get a ticket. Okay. All right. All righty. Thanks. All right, thank you.